Another five-minute mystery. State Police. You the fellow that put in the call? Yes, Sergeant. My name is Tony Blake. I run this gas station. Let's have the details on the shooting. Uh, it's pretty lonely out here in this mountain road at night with just an occasional car or two going by, so I always keep my radio turned on. And you got the announcement of the gas station killing at Fremont Valley. Yeah. The minute it came over the radio, I had a hunch the killer would be heading this way. What did you do then? I set myself out in the road with my rifle. When did he come along? About 15 minutes after I heard the news on the radio. I heard the sound of a high-powered car moving very fast around Carton's Peak. That's about a half a mile from here. Yeah. Well, that told me he'd be here in about half a minute. When the car came around the van, I began waving my arms for him to stop. He had me caught square in the glare of his light, so I lifted up my gun. What happened then, boy? He slowed down, and it almost stopped in front of me. When I saw him lift a gun behind a wheel, I fired immediately. The car started to swerve, and before I could stop it, it went down the road and tumbled off the cliff. What type of car was it, Blake? It was a four-door sedan. You sure? Of course, why? The car the killer got away in was a two-door sedan. That's a pretty bad smasher. You recognize the man behind the seat? I shine the light on his face, Inspector. Good heavens! What's wrong, Blake? This is Charlie Thompson, the man for whom I leased my gas station. Oh, I'll tell you the truth. I have nothing to hide. It was an accident. I I thought he was the killer. There is a gun on the front seat. Yeah, he always carried one. Afraid of being robbed, he used to tell me. After you heard the news flash about the killer being loose, you're certain that no other cars passed? Definitely. Did you phone right after the wreck occurred? Yeah, I didn't stop to investigate the crack-up. I wanted to stake police there right away. You notice the way his head is lying against the wheel? Yeah. The bullet passed right through his forehead. It's a good shot. I thought I was shooting a murderer. You got that reversed, Blake. You mean a murderer was shooting... I'm arresting you for the killing of Charlie Thompson. What contradiction did Tony Blake's story contain that proved it to be a lie? In just a moment, we'll know. Our story. You're crazy, Sergeant. I tell you, it was an accident. Our story told me it was deliberate murder. Don't you recall you said you were caught in the glare of the car's headlights? If that were true, how could you have possibly been able to see into the car's darkened interior to detect the driver raising a gun? Well, I thought I saw it. Now, Blake, that story of the killer on the radio was just a good excuse for you to deliberately kill Charlie Thompson after you and he argued about his taking the gas station back from you. You shot him and then let his car roll over the cliff. Unfortunately for you, you threw too much light on the subject. 